Sorry for the inconvenience, man. Two inmates escaped last night. We're just checking to see if you've seen anything out of the ordinary. Oh, no, I haven't seen anything. Are they dangerous? Don't you worry. There may be something unnatural about those Tennyson boys, but we'll catch them. Oh, that's a relief. Thank you, officer. No problem, ma'am. Have yourself a good day. Thanks, Bob. Oh, my boys. What is going on guys? Will here, welcome to the video. Today we are gonna be eating and training like they do in prison. So when I was researching this video, I was blown away with just how creative and inventive some people can be with such limited resources. So we got ourselves a full day of eating. By no means is this five star dining, but you never know, we could find a new staple in our diet. So we have inmate 631128, checking into the big house. Okay, so you guys know I like to go for a walk every single morning with my coffee, and luckily coffee is very easily accessible in prison, but if you wanna go the extra mile and get some Starbucks kind of quality, you gotta do it yourself. So what we're gonna be doing is a prison latte. So we got some instant coffee, you know, all my morning activities are done in instant, but never my coffee. We got some milk, and then it said some syrup packets. I don't have that, but I got Walden Farms. So I guess I know my mom's gonna be sneaking into my cake when she comes to visit. So we're gonna put this all together right now and then head out. Will, man, this is still cold, I know, guys. So to heat this up, we gotta get the tap to boiling water and then run it underneath, and then we can go for our walk. It actually looks pretty good. Nice little foam there. A little bit more head than I'd like, but oh well. So I think we gotta run this underneath here for at least a couple minutes. All right, I think the time has come to go for a little taste test here. It smells good. It's still ice cold, but you know what? It's like iced coffee. Very, very good. Nice little hint of the walnut from the Walden Farms. Mm. Don't know if this was the best idea to wear this outfit out on my walk, but luckily it's close to Halloween. Helps with the social distancing and I'm not by any schools. But I kind of just realized my favorite movie of all time is a prison movie, Shawshank Redemption. And then I realized there's such a big public interest with the whole prison scene, yo. All these shows come out like Wentworth, Orange is the New Black, Prison Break, it's pretty cool, so. Anyway, gonna finish the walk right now and then head home and see what we got for breakfast. Okay guys, so for breakfast, before we get into the creative stuff, I'm gonna show you guys a typical county jail breakfast in Montana. Gonna put the lunch and the dinner up as well. So this is a Sunday meal plan, the lowest calorie day of the week, coming up to 1,782 calories. Uh, the weekly calorie average is 2,031. Overall, this looks pretty good. Pretty much just looks like any sort of day in the life video that I would have with eggs. Cream of wheat, overall pretty good meal. This penitentiary beer flight, we got our coffee. Seems to be a coffee with every single meal. Will stop me from riding. We got our milk, vitamin D, calcium, good for your bones. And then six ounces of pineapple juice, the perfect dosage. They seem to know what's up in Montana and uh, you know why they're having this there. Tastes great, post-workout recovery. Mm. Haven't had a glass of milk in so long. Wonder if they switched to oat milk in the California jails. A little bit of that instant coffee. Definitely better than I thought. Tastes like Starbucks. Buttered up that toast. Gonna add a bit of that egg. Mmm. So not that much food, only three ounces of eggs, half a cup of cooked cream of wheat, and then one slice of toast. Very gelatinous cream of wheat. I wonder if they have the luxury of adding cinnamon and like salt or anything to it. I doubt it, so I didn't. Okay, well that was breakfast, a nice and light meal, which is good because the next couple meals are extremely calorie dense. We're gonna go chill for a bit 
and I'll see you guys shortly. So one thing that all inmates have access to is a library. So a ton of them read a lot of books. So the book that I have been reading is The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. Now, you might look at the front of this book and think it's about just not giving a shit about anything, but really what it's about is putting your energy towards things that matter and positively benefit you versus wasting energy on other things. Now, the difference between this book and other self-help books is that other self-help books tell you to kind of visualize the end goal, whereas this book just tells you to kind of be in the moment, focus on what's real and what you have versus focusing on what you don't have and what you lack. Alrighty, so I just read two chapters and one thing from the book that I just read that I wanted to share with you guys that is so true is that whatever makes us happy today will no longer make us happy tomorrow. You know, whether that comes to fitness goals, financial goals, relationship goals, you might achieve something, but then the next day you just want some more. So it's very important to kind of like appreciate what you achieve and all your small successes along the way versus just worrying about what's next. And in my case, I know what's next, that's the pre-workout meal. So for the pre-workout meal, we are making a burrito from a cookbook called The Prison Ramen. The recipe is called Avery's Jailhouse Burrito. So these are all the ingredients that you need. It looks a lot like a college grocery haul to me, but this is everything that you can typically get at a prison commissary. So we're gonna put this all together right now and see how it measures up to Chipotle. Okay, so the tap is heated up, all ready to go. And first things first, I'm the realist, but seriously what we gotta do is cook the ramen. So we just gotta smash it down and break it all up. Perfect. Now we gotta very carefully Add some water, not very careful right there. But. So they technically use this to kind of tie this thing. I'm usually pretty good with my fingers, but. All right, you know what? Let's just hope for the best there and let that kind of seep. So now we're gonna make the other part of the filling. So I have a quarter of the bag of the sour cream and onion popcorn. Now I'm gonna add half the bag of these flaming hot crunchy Cheetos. Looks about right. Now we're gonna add half the bag of some Doritos in nacho cheese Doritos into our big chip orgy. And then a nice little handful of cheese crackers. It could be goldfish. In my case, I have some Ritz crackers into the bag. And then we need some wetness. So we got ourselves some canned cheese. I've never actually used this in the kitchen before. So it'll be quite interesting to see how that kind of works. Oh, it takes me back. And now we just kind of use this as like our mixer. And kind of, kind of mix it all up in there. So now it's time to add the ramen flavor pack to our chips. And then by now, our ramen should be pretty close to done. Yeah, it feels nice and soft. So then I'm gonna poke the bag, let it kind of seep out the sides a little bit. The one time it's okay to have some holes in the bag. Oh, it's squirting out all sides. Okay, and now we're gonna carefully combine everything very slowly. You really just gotta get your whole fist in there sometimes. Five minutes of squishing have gone by. It looks like I've been in the middle of a high school food fight, but let's see what we got here. Okay, looks kind of odd. So now what we gotta do is add some more of the spreadable cheese onto our flat out protein pita. Doubt they have these there. We gotta get our protein in somehow. Wonder how many ramen packets it would cost to get some guac. Probably more than Chipotle, I bet. Now, I doubt this whole thing is gonna fit, but we are gonna ram this thing because we always gotta appreciate girth on this channel. And that is a prison burrito, and that is my pre-workout meal, and that is my beautiful lunch. Okay, let's give Avery a little bit of a taste. So this thing looks very cheesy. Hopefully it goes down pretty easy. Definitely has quite the aroma to it, and that cooking process doesn't really make me that motivated to try it, but okay. Wow, ranchy, cheesy. Very subtly spicy. Damn, I'm slightly surprised by this thing. I will say the only flaw with this is that, I don't know about you, but I don't like my popcorn damp. I'd say that's like the only thing. But other than that, man, this is gangster. Mm. The amount of sodium in this wrap though, I'm gonna have like a nasty pump in the yard after this. I never thought I'd say this, but I highly recommend you guys give this a shot. Maybe add some like chicken in there. A nice little like kind of like a buffalo chicken situation. The macros suck on this thing right now. The thing is, it's not really mixed that well. So you get these like little like pockets of like different things going on. So like every bite 
you don't know what's gonna happen. You get hit with some like, sour cream and onion, and you get hit with nacho cheese, and you get hit with sriracha. It's just kind of like, your palate's just going for, for a ride. Well, that was unreal. Definitely gonna feel the workout that we're about to go do right now. Went in for round two. It's not good. Now let's work out. All right, so we are in the prison yard about to hop into the workout. So the workout we are following is from Charles Bronson. He actually earned himself the reputation as the most violent criminal in the British jail system. He's also known to get in incredible shape in jail. He actually wrote a book called Solitary Fitness and set a whole bunch of prison records, including 1,727 push-ups in one hour, which is pretty crazy. I don't know how reliable that is, but anyway, we're gonna follow some of his staple exercises that he would do in a cell. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is the dip, the king of all upper body exercises. So everything we are doing today is three sets of 10. He even said himself, do not do this fast. It's all about slow and controlled motion. So I'm gonna try my best to really slow it down, focus on going all the way down, get the stretch and come back up. Just finished up supersetting dips, sit ups, and step ups. That was pretty tiring, but now we're on to the pull apart. So, obviously, if you're at home, feel free to use a band, but obviously, they don't have bands in prison. So, Charles Bronson would use a t shirt or a towel. So, what you gotta do is you're gonna start kind of shoulder width, chest level, have it kind of relaxed, but then you're gonna pull as hard as you can and then pull your shoulder blades back together and then release. Crazy on the rear delts. Oh man, the burn, wow. So up next we have the ab exhale. He said this is great for abdominal strength. So what he would do is he put like a string in front of him with something attached and he would blow as hard as he can. So I have a hat here with some paper attached. I'm gonna put it on and just go to town. So if you wanna try this at home, put anything in front of your face and just blow as hard as you can. That's all I can say. And you really wanna tense your abs when you do this. It's a lot harder than it looks. You start to feel very dizzy when you do this, but he even said, if you start to feel faint, don't be hero and stop. So, gonna stop. So obviously with any sort of body weight workout, you gotta throw in some push-ups. So when he came into prison, he started doing 20 push-ups every single day, and obviously he's been in there for a very long time, and eventually built up to doing 2,000 push-ups a day, which is insane. We are not doing that right now, but we're gonna do as many as we can. Got a pretty nice chest pump going right now. So the last exercise we're gonna be doing is a very important one because we're doing some butt clenches. We're going to failure. Butt clenches to failure right now. All right, well that was the workout. Gonna head home now and uh, make some dinner. Dinner time, so I'm here with my cellmate, AKA my mom, I call Top Bunk. Anyway, oh, so guess you guys- Guess again. Hmm? Guess again. I call Top Bunk. You guys know every single night is pizza night and not even a conviction is gonna stop me from having my pizza. So we are gonna make some prison pizza. So are you ready to put this thing together? I am ready. Looking at all this stuff, the prison people are just so damn creative. And there's nothing I respect more than some creativity, whether it be the fitness, cooking, the bedroom, you know? So you wanna chop up the, the onions and the pepperoni okay. and the pickles, and I'll yep. start working on the dough. So for the dough, we have to go in with two full sleeves of saltine crackers. Now we go in with, with a sleeve of Ritz crackers. I'm just gonna eyeball that. How are you making out there? Good. Good. Not crying yet. Ritz crackers are in, saltines are in. Now, of course, ramen, prison staple. Do you like pickles on pizza? 
Uh, I've never actually had it. Pickles belong on pizza. Too bad they don't do pineapple. But I mean, hopefully that uh, six ounces I had this morning did the trick. All the ingredients are into the bag. Now it's time to turn on the tap to boiling water. Okay. Not really boiling water, but you know. Yeah. The amount of hot water they're wasting. You can save this for the showers, you know? But I, I wouldn't be avoiding the showers altogether. You know what I'm saying? Oh. This is one way to turn you off eating for good, yeah. this cooking process. I don't think that that's gonna happen for you. That's true. I mean, if you can't get high volume meals in prison, you might as well try to turn yourself off eating altogether, you know? The dry stuff is done, and now we gotta fill this to equal parts boiling water. Oh. What you think, Bob? Looks like pizza dough. You think so? Yeah. Looks like dog food to me. And that's coming from a man no. who's eating a lot of dog food. All right, so we have everything cut up right here. The dough is just gonna be sitting for 15 minutes and we'll check in with you guys shortly. So 15 minutes have passed and we have ourselves, I think, dough. So I'm gonna put this onto the chip bag that we kind of cut open here. This is gonna be like our little tray here and then my mom is gonna roll it out. Well, that's a Chicago deep dish right now. A party size pizza, man. It's definitely a party size. Now we gotta put this into the microwave to cook it partially for just five minutes. All right. Oh, okay. yeah. Just force it in, Mom. It's, this is like dripping out. That's what she said. Okay. Five minutes. He said four to five. But that Let's was go cool. five. We got a powerful boy here. I like my crust well done. What about you? Yeah. yeah. I like the fact you can still see the ramen. Sorry, Very sorry. encouraging. Kind of looks like some sort of like a lunchable, you know? Okay, so this is going back into the microwave for five minutes, and then we get to eat this thing. Damn, this thing's hot. It, it looks like pizza. Yeah, it does. Take a look at that, guys. So we're gonna let this cool for a good amount of time, because this thing is steaming hot. Wow. And then, are you ready to have some dinner? I am. Yeah. You want a corner piece? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. That's good. I mean, definitely not crispy like I like a pizza crust to be. I mean, I don't think people will be traveling from the far corners of the world for this thing. That is some thick looking crust. Yeah, that has some respectable girth on that thing. It's a little bit sticky at the bottom. It is. Yeah, let's do it. What we gotta do here though, don't, don't be in pizza mode, be in party mode. Like don't expect this to be pizza, just put yourself in a prison. They'll kind of lower your expectations greatly, okay? Okay. Three, two, two one. I like it. I think I just like to eat. It's pretty good. But you know what? It's not as disgusting. Oh, the aftertaste is actually really bad. Is it? It has like a staleness to it. It's not, I didn't think it was as disgusting as I first thought. There's something in that dough that just happened in the cooking process, I think. I don't know if it's nasty. You know what? It's not that nasty. It's definitely all of its own. I'll give it that. Definitely unlike any sort of pizza I've ever had before. The actual outside crust part is it has that little bit of the ramen texture to it in your tongue. Yeah. I think it could have been a little bit more even on our rolling process. Mm -hmm. That's all you. Okay. Oh, I got a Ritz pocket. Oh, is that a good thing? Yeah. All right. Extra cheddar. Mm. Yeah, this is like I a quarantine would... pizza. Yeah. I would cook the pizza crust more than what we did. Mom, I don't think people are making round. this with their moms. Like, you don't, you don't need to give like cooking tips. Oh, you don't think so? Oh. No. Speaking of prison, mm -hmm. what do you think that you go to prison for? I think we all, don't you think we all have the capability of killing somebody if we had to? What are you trying to say? I think like you go to prison for something powder related. Powder? Yeah, like me. Like that? I, I, I'm like, I'm not a bad kid. I'm not, I'm not malicious, I'm just an idiot. Well, that's true. So I feel like I would just get into trouble with powder. Like mother, like son. I'm actually really liking this now. <laughs> really liking this now. What was that? What? You're just manhandling it now. We're in prison eating off a chip bag <laughs> with pizza dough made out of ramen. <laughs> I think manners are off the table at this point. Are you gonna put the macros up on the screen? I don't, I don't even wanna tally them up. I feel like all the crackers and everything, that this has to be like at least 3,500 calories for this. Really? Then what am I eating all this for? You gotta bulk up. All right, well, I had a good portion of this pizza. She was just an absolute loser and just kind of just picked out this thing like an animal. Uh, so you have the luxury of having another meal. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to start cooking it now. Yeah, and I gotta make myself some prison ice cream. 
Mmm. Mm. Of course we have to end the night off with some dessert. So I'm gonna make some prison ice cream. I usually have some sort of like a halo top or a cool way. So we'll see how this adds up. And this is the last test to see if I'm cut out to be in prison. So in this big bag right here, we gotta add a whole lot of ice. All right, good. So it looks like you're about halfway full. And now we want the ice to be extremely cold. So what we've got to do is add in a boatload of some salt. And that is apparently going to make it extremely cold for us to put our milk in. And I'm talking a lot of salt, like typically how I would season my food right here. All right. Now we kind of just mix it up with the ice. You can already feel it getting immediately colder. All right, good to go. So now in the small bag here, we're actually going to make the ice cream. We're going to go in with a little bit of milk. Good. And of course we gotta flavor this bad boy up. So if you have Gatorade, if you got Kool-Aid mix, but here I got some Tang. So 10 minutes have elapsed and let's see what we got here. Okay, so look at it. It actually hardened up and it resembles ice cream. So that's gonna be the nice uh, little Snack to end off the day. Icy, not so much creamy. But I mean, ice cream's a lot like making love, you know? Even when it's bad, it's still pretty good. It tastes like milk, it tastes like tang. Not sweet enough. But I mean, it's not bad, again, not bad at all. I dig it. If I was locked up, I would take this as dessert. And funny enough, Eric the Electric just posted a video about death row meals, and it got me thinking, what would be my last meal and I would have to say, I would do like a dozen donuts from San Remo. I would do a pizza from Pizzeria Dofina. I would do a big tub of a Ben & Jerry's ice cream and probably all the coffee I can handle. What would you guys choose? Let me know. So that is gonna wrap up this video, guys. I was eating and training like they do in prison. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.